Welcome to Sniper Sight Online Training Lesson. Today we're going to talk about natural point of aim. Now natural point of aim is something a lot of people take for granted and that's because the majority of them shoot from the prone like this with big heavy rifles. So that support from the ground will take up any errors in natural point of aim. Where you see the biggest issue with natural point of aim is when you get off your belly. Tripods, sling shooting, barricades, things like that, that's where natural point of aim can bite you. And that's a hit. We have a drill today we're going to do in the prone so you can see how important natural point of aim is. We're going to set up on the rifle, we're going to point it to the target, and then we're going to check our natural point of aim. I'm going to close my eyes, go through a couple of breathing cycles and open my eyes and see where the rifle is. I'm going to fine tune my position. Then, once I feel I have a good natural point of aim where I'm not muscling the rifle, I'm going to close the scope cap and I'm going to fire the shot. That should still let me hit the target even though I can't see it. Good consistent cheek weld not moving around, I should have no problem hitting the target. So that's a drill people can do with natural point of aim. You can also do this drill from a tripod, positional, things like that so you can see just how well you're getting behind the rifle. Good thing to practice, set the tripod up, come in on the rifle and index straight. Cut the target with the muzzle, come down and get in your position. This will keep allowing you to flow into it and then that way you get 90% of that natural point of aim taken care of. So let's go ahead and let's set up our natural point of aim on this target. 450 yards, I'm slightly off to the side now. I'm going to go and I'm set up. Rifles naturally aligned, close my eyes, couple breathing cycles, open my eyes. I'm going to adjust down a little bit with my rear bag. Small movements go a long way. Check it again. Okay, should be good. Close the bolt, get ready. Hit. Now let's see where I hit. I hit a little bit low, a little right. So I'm gonna make a fine tune adjustment. hit but I'm not sure where. Looks like it hit at the bolt. We got our natural point of aim set up. We're closing the scope cap and this is a drill you could do from multiple positions. We even have a good wind going on here. It's about an 8 to 10 mile an hour wind. We're still getting those hits on target. So that's something that you guys can do is to check your natural point of aim. As I said, it's going to be much more significant when you get off your belly, but at the same time you still can see what the effects your trigger control has and all those things on your position by closing off the, the sight picture. It's really good if you have another person who could do it for you, that way you don't have to move. 
I'm having to break my position to close things like the scope caps. So if you have somebody who can drop the front cap, it's a great drill. Last one. Check it. Little high. Come down, readjust. That's good. Good hit. 